What is going on lads? What's the crack? Hope you guys had a great weekend. We are back with another player pack review. Today we're taking a look at Napoli. Napoli club selection. Obviously going well enough over in the Serie A. They've got some lovely players as well in their squad, inc including a couple of beasts that we will get into. So there's going to be four to five players that we look at from this pack. But as ever, we will kind of discount the guys that I don't think are really going to be making a difference if you do spin them. So obviously starting with Merritt. He is a good goalkeeper, lads, but as I've said, if you are a newcomer to the game now and you do have enough GP, you need to kind of be buying an endgame goalkeeper straight off the rip. If you've been playing the game for a while, you will have one of those. You will have your Donnarumma, you will have your Cassius maybe, or your Oliver Kahn, or your Peter Schmeichel, or your Czech if you've spun and got a bit of luck with the, with the Legends or the, the Epic players. And if you don't, I mean, I'm sure you guys have saved up and trained up a goalkeeper, um, and especially as this guy... Even though he does have unwavering form, he is on D-rating this week. So I think if you do get him, you're not going to be training him up because you need your goalkeeper to be on A to B form with unwavering form, without a doubt. He's the one player that you can't mess with. And I will be doing a video on that because a lot of people have been asking me that are new to the game. But yeah, he's not really one that we're going to focus on. And then next up, we have Kim Min Jae at the back. Again, his acceleration is going to let him down a little bit. He does have unwavering form. He does have blocker and interception and man marking and slide tackle. He has every defensive stat that you could possibly want in a defender. He does have the build-up play style as well. But the thing that I would kind of question about him is his player level, which is only 21. And there are players that you can buy for very similar uh, stats and for very cheap GP uh, if you actually have just a quick look. I mean, off the top of my head, I could probably think of maybe about five or six guys that are probably, you know, better than him. Now, if you do spin him, don't get me wrong, he is a fairly beast of a player. I mean, there's nothing to say that he's not a beast of a player. But you are going to have to make a decision whether you train up his defensive awareness or you train up his acceleration, right? Because you you, you kind of need both. Um and you're not going to get it all when you train up this guy's cards. You know, you're not going to get your acceleration into the high uh, 70s or the 80s. You're not going to get your defensive awareness and tackling, which is a big one, uh, you know, up that much because you only have 21 levels to go. So, yeah, for me, uh, I think that he's obviously a bit of a, a bit of a bad one as well. And then we also have Raspadori, who we're not going to focus too much on, even though he does have super sub, he is on D rating. So, if you guys are looking for a super sub, get Adiemi. Uh, even though he's got, you know, bad form uh, instead of standard, he's got inconsistent. But Raspadori has got standard breathing on D rating. Um, but if you can afford to get maybe Chiesa or get maybe Haaland or there's a lot of other super subs there that you could buy, uh, that will be definitely better than this guy. Because again, you know, we've got so many good SSs now and deep line forwards. We had the review of Del Piero the other day uh, where we compared him to Dybala as well. Um so yeah, those kind of three players are the ones that I would probably ignore. Now moving on to a couple of guys that I think are definitely worth getting and training if you do spin them. First up, we have the Serie A wonder kid from Georgia. And I'm going to try to pronounce his name, lads, and I want feedback on it. Kav Kavratskelia. Kavratskelia. That's what I'm going to say. Kavratskelia. So... This guy is very, very decent, but he's not, I don't think, upper tier, right? When we go over to eFootball DB in a second, we will see that even though he does have amazing run, speeding bullet, and a ton of player skills, double touch, Marseille turn, he is a fun player to use. I've actually used him quite a bit on my other account. I do have another version of him, which was, I think, a player of the week. Um... And I also think I had his standard rating as well. I think his player of the week version card was slightly better uh, in terms of different stats and stuff like that. But I do think that this guy is the best version of him yet. But his standard card, I think, is really cheap. I think it's only about like 9,000 or 12,000 GP. Um, and he trains up very similar to this guy. So if you don't get him and you're kind of missing out and you think you're missing out, uh, I would definitely check that standard card out, right? So we do have... Where's my... Where's my uh, thing gone? Two seconds. All right, let's back. I don't know what happened there. Technical issues on a Monday morning before work. But anyway, we do have this guy, right? Maxed out at 88. He is a left-sided winger. He can play on the right as well, which is always good. And of course, we do have all the player stats that we could possibly want for acceleration. But there's just so many better 
I think wingers out there if you are looking for a dedicated winger now he is a right footed left footed player or left wing player so I do like that I like having a right footed uh, player on the left flank and a right footed or a left footed on the right flank that's just me uh, I feel I play better with the likes of Messi or Anthony or somebody like that on the right flank and then better with Neymar on the left or somebody like that so yeah he is one to watch as well I think he has got a very exciting card and he will be one to watch when the new season kicks off as well next up we do have a De Lorenzo maxed out at 91 this guy's a bit of a I would say a hidden gem in terms of obviously he's a well-known player uh, with the Italian national side as well uh, but he is a very kind of a player that I don't come up against often and I'm glad I don't because he's got insane stats he's got 84 speed 85 acceleration 75 offensive awareness good dribbling good passing for a fullback and then he also has a bit of strength about him with stamina and balance and physical contact and then the defensive awareness engagement tackling and aggression is very high he also has unwavering form so um, and a good lot of player skills so again he's somebody that I would definitely recommend to train up if you do get him and you don't have an upper tier like top 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 class right back uh he is definitely somebody that i think could be very good for you we've also got this guy who i think is the player of the pack this week for napoli selection anguizza or anguizza or anguizza uh he is a dmf he is a monster lads he's an absolute beast right you're going to be getting him maxed out with 84 speed 80 acceleration low pass loft to pass is quite high at 80 each then he's got the physical contact and the stamina to back up his engine and getting around the pitch. And defensively, he is going to have defensive awareness, 82, engagement, 89, tackling, 87, and aggression, 91. He's also just, uh, he's always seems to be in the right place. I have his standard card uh, on my other profile. Um, I might show you guys that team uh sometime as well it's kind of a different type of team with a lot of hidden gems in it um but this guy is the real deal if you do not have the upper upper tier dmf such as Vieira, davits makalele or then you're looking at maybe the likes of rodri who was the, the man city version of Rod rodri or Kimmich or somebody like that this guy will do a job for you um and he is extremely difficult to get past as well. He's one of those players that when I come up against him, I kind of know that I'm playing against a guy that has done a lot of research on his team and on his players, and he's seen what works. And this guy, even his standard version, goes up to pretty much that. Like, even though he's only got two less levels, he does go up to pretty much that as well for 51,000. So check him out as well. But this card is very, very decent, very phenomenal compared to this one. Next up, we have got Oshemhen. Uh, who is lighting it up at the moment for Napoli. A couple of weird stats, I think, that kind of hold him back from being uh, kind of like a meta centre forward. And the same with Zielinski, which we'll get to in a minute, which I think is, is one of the better cards here. He has got a nice height and weight. He's got a nice player style, player motion. He does get up and down the pitch, even as a centre forward, even though he's a goal poacher. He is able to actually get up and down the pitch and track back and stuff like that because he does have that player skill. And I think that that's very valuable if you are playing one up front to get him deep kind of in the game, um, you know, to get him to be able to like get the ball and turn and run. But the problem with him is he doesn't excel at anything. His dribbling, as you see here, his dribbling is just that little bit low. His finishing is not in the high 80s, it's mid 80s, which is still decent, but his kicking power, his balance, his stamina all kind of let him down a little bit. And that speed and acceleration, while good, there is better options out there. I would say even the likes of Ab Abamyang. You know, Abamyang is probably a better player than him. He also doesn't have unwavering form either. So that is something to keep an eye on. And then last but not least, we have Zelinski, who, yeah, a lot of people will look at this guy and say, as an AMF, he is the real deal because he has everything, right? He has absolutely everything on his player card. We look here. He's got a wavering form. He's also got double touch, Marseille turn, long range shooting and curler, dipping shot, first time shot, one touch pass, true passing. So I would be playing Zelensky as my Messi alternative. I've already spoken about a cheap version of Messi. If you can't afford Messi or you don't have Messi, and we will be talking about different kind of versions of players that you can get that will be, you know, kind of like a hidden gem and how they stack up against different players, right? I'm going to show you a couple of them, but Zelensky is definitely in that mix because 
you know, he's taller, he's stronger, um, he's going to be faster. But other than that, I mean, his passing and his dribbling is really top tier level as well. His ball control, his offensive awareness, his kicking power, his balance, his stamina for an AMF is really, really good. And again, his standard card isn't actually that expensive. It's 100,000 GP. And he does go up very similarly, levels up very similarly to this version of the card. So they kind of have it balanced quite decently, I would say. The big plus for these cards is obviously that they all have player efficiency at set at 90, as you can see here. Um, everything is at 90 for the play size, so you can play them in any formation. So that is it for the Napoli agent, lads. Let me know what you guys think of this review. Will you spin or skip? And uh, I will talk to you later. Peace. Don't forget to subscribe.